Hello there, children. My name is Scientist Doctor, Mr. Doctor, Mr. Snickerbutt Flucky Flums. And today I've got a neat little science trick for you. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get your crush to like you back with psychology. So put on your safety goggles because we're going to dive right in. You may think that I'm not certified to deal with such a topic, but I will have you know I have a badge in forensic anthropology. I don't know where it is. But I'll find it later and maybe I'll show it to you in the middle. I don't know. Get right into the video. To do this, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a jar, a water bottle, a woody pickup line, and a woody comeback line. Just in case she rejects you for some reason. First, open the jar. Oh, smell like pickles. First, open the jar, make sure you don't smell it, then pour some water in the jar. Make sure you only pour a little bit, like this much. Then, put the lid back on. <sighs> put the lid back on. Put the lid back on. That's good enough. Now, now, make sure to shake it. Make sure you shake it for however long you want. The longer, the better. After you're done having your fun shaking it, now you leave it out for two days. When you get back, then you might think, oh, it's just the same jar, right? Wrong. It's two days older now. So now what you want to do is listen to my instructions, then I'll tell you. Now go up to your crush and use like some witty pickup line like, oh, the fact that we're not together is pretty jarring, or some stupid thing like that. And then after these tips, you should strike the gold. Now I'm gonna go give this to my crush. Can't wait. Well, I just got rejected. Tried my, I tried my comeback. She roasted me badly. Oh, I'm a failure. I know what it is. It's a pickle jar. Probably smelled it. Now, what you've learned today is to never trust pickle jars. I'll see you whenever I make the next video. This is Mr. Dr. Scientist Snickerbutt Flucky Flums. About the crime self-asleep. <laughs>